By far the tool that I use the most for controlling my zoom and pan is my three button wheel mouse. With no command active, if I roll the wheel forward, I will zoom in. Now you notice that where I place the cursor becomes the focus of my zoom. So I'm going to place the cursor over this part of the elevation drawings and I'll roll the mouse button forward. And it zooms on that part. Now to pan or to move my drawing around I'm going to hold down the wheel. That's the third button of my wheel mouse. And that activates my pan command. So I can zoom back out, I can change the focus, I can zoom in, I can hold down the wheel, and I can pan. Because I use the zoom and pan so much, they are commands that are transparent to other commands. What that means is I can be using one of my draw or modify commands and zoom and pan without interrupting. So if I needed to add a line to my existing drawing, I'm going to start a line command and then zoom in on this particular area. You notice that my line command is still active even though I'm zooming and I'm panning and now I can start to draw my lines and, and that command. So I can use them anytime I'm using another command without interrupting. Another way that I can quickly access my pan and zoom commands using my mouse is from the right click pop up menu. Even with no command active, if I right click my mouse, I get my pop up menu. And here I have pan and zoom, I have my 3D steering wheels, I also have undo pan and zoom, so I can undo to go to a previous view, right click, I can redo to go back.